Hello, it's Mirage here. And, um, look at my human head. Okay, that was weird. Um, I did this video with my old channel. But I realized I missed one, um, show, or not show, but movie, um, I guess, I don't know, I don't know what I really call, just let me, I don't know what I called the, um, video, but, um, I got the list still, so, I guess I can do it over again and I don't know <laughs> we'll see what this happens to be in the end so I can't see very well in this mask because it's a low quality Halloween mask that I customized to be my fursuit because I'm broke and I have unsupportive parents. Even at 28. So. Yeah. Uh-huh. My favorite. Uh. Furry type movies. So if you're not a furry. And you still like these movies. It doesn't really mean you're furry. If you don't want to be called a furry, that's fine. It doesn't really mean you're a furry if you like these movies. But, come to the dark side. The furry fandom has become very dark because a certain someone wants to come back. Anyways, that's in another video. So let's get started with this video. I'm sorry my jaw movement isn't very well, but a lot of furries with moving jaws don't have very good moving jaws anyways. Kiva's got a better one, but someone said her mouth is scary, so I'm not going to use her as much. Because I don't want to scare people. Because I looked at her mouth. And the fur isn't like stuck to the sides. Like right here. So it just looks weird and creepy. So I don't know. She's a Walmart suit. She was only $22. And this was $30. So better quality I guess. Just I can't see very well. Anyways. Let's get on with the video. I chat too much. Um. Zootopia, Nick Wilde is so hot. And on my Instagram, I said I wouldn't consider anthropomorphic animals hot. But to be a furry, you're gonna. But it's, it's still kind of weird because they're still animals. But still, they're humanized animals. And they sexualize them for a reason. So, yeah. I'm not sexually interested to real animals, people. Ew. Kiro is. Okay. The Lion King. Of course, everyone loves the Lion King. And I'm going to say it again. Kovu is hot. And so is Simba. Uh, and Kion from the Lion Guard. Okay, that sounds weird because, like, he's a teenager. But, I don't know. It's just... I think of him when he... Like, I think of him as an adult. And when I think of him as an adult, I'm like... He's as sexy as his father. I'm not looking at the teenage version of him. 
I think he's handsome as a teenager, but not like sexy or anything, because I'm not a pedophile. Okay. Robin, no, Tarzan. I know Tarzan has a human in it. And Tarzan is a human, and some other humans in it too. But it has gorillas in it that talk. So, of course, that's a furry movie too. And I loved that movie growing up. Watched it on a loop, like a few other movies. I'm going to do a video of that later without the first suit head because it's not furry related. So, Tarzan, yeah, I just love that movie. I still watch it to this day. We're five minutes in, guys. Um, Robin Hood? Because Robin Hood is sexy. Like Nick Wilde. I swear they're related in some kind of ancestral way. I don't know. Um, but they cuties. <laughs> I'm Mirage. I'm gay. So, yeah. I'm actually pansexual, but mostly gay, so if I'm saying the boys are hot, that's because I'm mostly gay. I mostly like the boys. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, I did have Kung Fu Pan on here. Dumbass me. I did have the one I thought I left out on it. So, Fantastic Mr. Fox is the one I did miss out. Okay, Fantastic Mr. Fox. I watched that the other day, actually. And I kind of got a crush on Ash. <laughs> Even though he's supposed to be... A teenage fox but I thought it was Justin Timberlake who I love to death but it wasn't it was some guy that sounded like him but I used to have a crush on a guy that sings like Justin Timberlake and talk has the same kind of talking voice as Justin Timberlake so anyone that sounds like Justin Timberlake I love you even though that guy I used to have a crush on was a dink. Okay. Kung Fu Panda. I have a, here's my other side of me. The one that's not gay. Tigress. She is so pretty. Oh my god. Yeah, and Poe is so freaking hilarious. Okay, he's so cute. I want to give him snuggles. And yeah, so yeah, Kung Fu Panda. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't watch that anymore. When I was a kid, I watched the movies a lot. And sometimes the show. And yeah. So... When the Power Rangers showed up on the show, I was excited. But I'm not really a Power Rangers fan anymore, except for a few of the shows. But, um, yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't know which one's my favorite in the group, but they're all funny. Um... Chicken Little. I don't know if you heard of this movie, but it's a Disney movie. And like, it's got, it's anthropomorphic, it's all animals, and they have this, this little chicken and this little alien that comes down, and Chicken Little thinks the sky is falling, but really it's aliens coming down, and uh, the little baby alien named Kirby, and not Kirby the big gumball, Kirby the alien. Um, Yeah. So, he was so freaking cute. And I watched that show on, that movie on a loop as a kid. And, yeah. We watched it a lot in middle school. In, uh, grade six. <laughs> that 
That was a long time ago. Because I'm 28 now. And I was 11 then. Crushing on a freaking druggie. I had a crush on a lot of druggies. What the hell is wrong with me? Okay. Um, Jungle Book. Yes, that's a furry movie. It has talking animals. Who did I have a crush on? Bagheera. Ah, oh, Bagheera. Oh, okay. Uh, Blue is freaking adorable, though. And if I say freaking a lot, it's just my thing. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Alpha and Omega. Um, love Alpha and Omega. Have a crush on... What's that one's name? Humphrey. Have a big crush on him. Even though I lived with the Humphreys for a while and they're idiots. But anyways. Um, yeah. Humphrey. Um, that was a cool movie. But all the sequels sucked ass. Don't make sequels of good movies if you're going to ruin them. And that's all our movies. See ya!